the composition or the type of cells present in a person. So, for example, females have a little larger fat cell uh, ratio as compared to males. So, their total body water is usually 50 percent ish. On the other hand, as we age, our number of fat cells also increase. So, again that would cause the ratio of the total body water to reduce because now we have more cells which have less water. Obese people also have less total body wa water because they have more fat cells and fat cells once again they contain less body fluids or less water. So, as a general rule about 60 percent of the body water is in the fat cells. So, normal healthy person uh, 70 kilogram of weight his 60 percent will mean about 42 liter is water or fluids. So, we are if a person is 70 kilogram he would have about 42 liters. So, what would that mean? That would mean in the Don and Yarrow diagram this is 42 liters. What would that mean? That in these compartments the cells and the interstitial fluid and the intravascular fluid these when you combine and you measure them all the total body water that would be about 42 liters. So, 60 percent of the body weight. Now, the second thing to remember so do not forget this these are very very important thing when you are on the hospital floors and trying to handle the patients. The second thing is the rule for 40 percent. So, 40 percent of the body weight there are multiple ways to actually look at it. So, I will talk about them, but remember the key word here is the body weight of the body weight. So, 40 percent of the body weight is the intracellular fluid. So, 40 percent of body weight. So, about 28 liters again we are talking about a person who has 70 kilogram body weight and his uh, we are trying to see what are various uh, compartments and, and the fluid in there. So, total body water 60 percent about 42 liters intracellular fluid volume about 40 percent 28 liters and then of course, the remaining is going to be 14 liters is going to be in the extracellular fluid. So, normally we say that 20 percent 20 percent in, in the extracellular 20 percent of the body weight of the body weight is in the ECF this is ICF. So, this 20 percent or the remaining 14 liters 14 liters is present here. So, there is a rule that 60 percent of the body weight is all the blood volume or the sorry it said blood volume all the fluid volume 40 percent is intracellular and 20 percent of the body weight 20 percent of the body weight is in the uh, extracellular fluid. There is one more way and what we say is that out of total body water. So, let us say these three compartments contain the total body water out of all of that about one third sorry two third is in the intracellular fluid about one third is in the extracellular fluid. Then within the extracellular fluid within the extracellular fluid compartment if we divide this compartment into four some books say four and some books say five. So, for my convenience I am going to make it into four. So, if we have four units then they say that the intravascular normally has about one fourth and extravascular has the remaining three fourth. Some books say one fifth and four fifth some books say one fourth and three fourth, but really um, it should be variable as well. So, these are the primary things which you should not forget what is that 60 percent of the body weight. So, body weight here 60 percent is total body water 40 percent is the um, intracellular fluid 
and 20 percent is the extracellular fluid. This extracellular fluid is then divided into interstitial and the um, intravascular and the interstitial is about four fifth or three fourth and intravascular is going to be one fifth or one fourth whichever uh, various books have that Bo both of those are present in books. So, what would that mean? That would mean about 11 liters here and the remaining 3 liters here. So, 28 liters here, 11 liters here, 3 liters over there. So, where did the transcellular compartment go? Remember we talked about a transcellular compartment is separately dealt about 2 liter is present in the transcellular compartments. So, this is the, this is the uh, volumes of various body compartments. Now, there is one more thing, the volume which is present in the blood vessels, what is this volume? Is this blood? Is it blood or is it plasma? So, important thing please remember that inside the blood vessel, there are two primary things, there are, there is plasma and there are blood cells there is plasma and there are blood cells. The blood cells are the solids or solid part of the blood and the plasma is what we are talking about here. So, this 3 liter is really the fluid part of the blood vessel which is the plasma. And now, so if I can erase this a little bit here. Now, how much is the blood? So, there is a very uh, common measurement which doctors have to do or which they are provided as a data for their clinical uh, uh, labor laboratory tests and that is the hematocrit. So, hematocrit is really the packed cell volume. What does that mean? What that means is that they pick up blood, they put it in a, in a test in a tube and then they centrifuge that tube. And what happens is that the packed cell volume, the packed cell or the cells due to the force of rotation, due to the centrifugal and centripetal, so centrifugal force, the cells like RBCs. So, remember out of the cells 99 percent are the RBCs and they matter more because they have, a, they have the bigger volume. So, the cells would then get packed onto one side of the tube. So, that would be the packed cell volume. Please remember this that you cannot ever reach a point where you only have cells. There is going to be some fluid present here as well, but that is going to be negligible about 2 to 3 percent. The remaining fluid which is present in the blood vessel, the remaining is going to appear here. So, now this is packed cell volume and this is plasma. Usual ratio in a man is that packed cell volume is 40 percent of the whole blood volume and in a female it is about 35 percent, correct. So, how do we figure out if you know the plasma, how can you figure out the amount of blood volume? You need one more thing, if you know the amount of plasma or the volume of plasma inside the vascular system, which you can calculate from at least tentatively from the body weight. So, let us say a person has 70 kilogram body weight, you would say all right his total body volume is going to be 60 percent which is um, 42 liters, 42 liters. So, this, 40, this 42 liters is then distributed amongst various body compartments. We have 28 liters here, we have 11 liter here, we have 3 liters over here. So, 3 liter plasma, 3 liter plasma, how much blood? So, the formula is please do not forget this formula, this is very common for USMLE questions. The formula is blood volume is going to be plasma volume divided by 1 minus hematocrit. What this really is saying and you can, you can calculate it in your mind as well, what this really is saying is that whatever is the plasma volume that is a particular percentage. So, for example, it is 60 percent here, right? That is the plasma volume. So, if I told you that the plasma volume is 3 liters, 
then what you need to know is how do you calculate that is 